Welcome to Media Minute. If this episode was a serial, it'd be whoops, no topics. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Vaskowski. And I'm Rachel Edge. And uh, yeah, no topics again uh, for this episode. Kind of well, talk- we, yeah, we're, we're we're tackling the Olympics. We are tackling the Olympics, like not physically tackling the Olympics. Yeah, I, yeah, because like they didn't have any spectators or. I'm pretty sure it's Tam- very, very much a no touchy Olympic, except for all the sports where they. Yeah, I'm pretty sure other. Tamira Mensa Stock would hand me my posterior. Yes. Yeah. But no, yeah, uh, it's Sunday. I think the the final ceremonies are today. Are they? Yeah, crazy. So uh, I think yeah. so. Yeah, uh, Canada hit eleventh. We were in eleventh place for our total medals. That's we, not bad. Yeah, we scored some, we scored some good ones. We got the decathlon. Yeah, decathlon, which is I guess and the the, uh, the I don't know barometer of uh, of athletic. Yeah, uh, peak, if, if, if you get gold in that. You're, good. You're the best. Yep. Of at everything. Yeah. You you are so that's cool. you are Mr. Olympic. Yeah. Yep. So we got well, that. We got like the two hundred meters. Like uh, the women's soccer team. Like yeah. Gold. Soccer I, that was yeah. A huge I watched deal. that like at work because it was on at like five in the morning. So uh, yeah, I had it on in the background while I was on air. Very much a nail biter. Like uh, it was so. I thought Sweden had us. I I I felt that Sweden played like a better game like i'm not a soccer fan same but uh you know it seemed like really sweden had controlled the ball more than we did they also had taller girls i don't know if that means yeah. anything <laughs> probably helps That's a, probably helps yeah like yeah i would say it probably helps but like yeah like I, it's still such a cool feeling though like i i i don't watch the olympics a ton unless it's there's something on that i really want to watch yeah but like there's still like such a sense of pride in being like heck yeah like our team won you know what i mean yeah it was a similar feeling for me uh, back uh, when I was in the Navy uh, during the 2018 Olympics, the Olympics that were in Vancouver. Uh, we were at sea uh, doing a bunch of training exercises, and they shut down, like, every, like, activity at sea so we could watch the gold medal Olympic hockey game. That, I love uh, that. Was that, at, like, one of the weird times at night? Because I remember, what, what, what was it? Uh, in Calgary, I uh, there, oh, there was, yeah, when they like I, open I was, bars at, like three in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I remember because I was working at a bar at the time, and we had to like talk to our boss and figure out how we were going to handle it because it's like there's like certain regulations you have to follow when it comes to serving alcohol and stuff at like that early in the morning. So you actually had to apply for like a ton of like special permits. Yeah, for it to actually happen, like it was a big deal. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there was... Yeah, some, sorry, a little, a little off topic. Yeah, no. Some really interesting sports to watch. So, like, I didn't watch a ton of the Olympics, but uh, there's some pretty neat uh, rock climbing. Bouldering. Yeah. Yeah. Bouldering. Have you checked that out? I haven't seen the bouldering. Like, I watched the uh, oh, c- kind of technical rock climbing where they have, a, like, a difficulty curve. Like, there's literally a curve that goes up the wall, and they have to... It yeah. gets harder and harder each time. Oh, yeah. If you haven't checked out bouldering... Yeah. Check that out. It's like it's like rock climbing, but, like, sideways. Okay. It's insane. Yeah. There's a 12-year-old, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if she's Chinese or Japanese, but she's young. Yeah. And she does like these crazy like backwards, like upside down splits to yeah. like get to like her next, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what you call them. Yeah. There, there is a name for them, but I just don't know, don't know what There were is. some uh, really young medal winners this year. They had skateboarding this year in the Olympics, and like the gold medalist was like a 13-year-old. Yeah. And yeah, there's, the there's a 14-year-old diver. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Because there's there's it, no I, limit, yeah. Yeah, but I think it, it's really cool though because it's like it wasn't just young people, but there was also like the oldest gymnast competing in like the Olympics too, wasn't there? Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, where was she, she from? She was like you know, forty five or forty six yeah. or something. Y'all keep talking. I'm gonna have to look, yeah. look up exactly because I don't want to get this wrong because no. she crushed it. You're at the top of your well, game. No, she, You're top at the she, top of your game. Well, no, she did good, but she never made the finals. Like yeah. she got cut out after like the yeah, but she was in the Olympics for like thirty years. Yeah, maybe longer. Yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. It's a lot of Olympics. It's like 10, you, 10 Olympics. Well, did you folks hear about like why she was like the oldest one? It was actually pretty sad. 
Oh, no. Uh, part of the reason she kept competing the Olympics was because her son had leukemia. Okay. And so she had to postpone, like, certain, like, uh, job offers and stuff. So she had to, like, go and compete in the Olympics to try and, like, pay for his okay. uh, chemo. Oh, yeah. Well, that's his yeah. story there for sure. I thought that was crazy because I was like, oh, cool. Like, she's, the, like, the oldest Olympian technically in gym. I, I don't know if there's any other ones in other, like, Olympic sports or anything. But, like, they were like, did you know? And, like, it was, like, one of those, like, quick videos you see on Facebook Watch or whatever. And, like, yeah. I watched it. I was like, what? I was like, that's insane. So, like, not only does she have the title of, like, the oldest Olympian gymnast, but she also has, like, a crazy backstory to it. Well, yeah, she'd, been, she'd been doing the Olympics since, like, I think maybe even into the late 80s. Yeah. It's yeah, crazy. like, she was young when she started, too. Like, I'm pretty sure she was, like, six, 16, 17? Yeah. Something like that. All right. We, we can't get all right uh come c- come back to me give me a second i need to look this up here here's who i have to give props to at the olympics the guys who stand on the javelin field while the javelin Ooh. is being thrown i am gonna throw a clip yeah you know the clip yeah i know the clip <laughs> three two one here we go Det är ett spydkast. Och det är Joha Laukanen från Finland som kastar i sjätte omgång. Och spydet träffar faktiskt en funktionär. Det är en funktionär ute på banan som får spydet i armen. And we're back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what clip is that? A guy actually gets javelined in his shoulder. In his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he got who yawned. It didn't happen this year or anything. It was like, <clears throat> looks like the 80s or yeah, something. Yeah, I think it was the 90s. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it was a while ago. He's like one of the uh, like the javelin judges, the guys from Rocket off the thing. And he, yeah, he was just standing <laughs> out in the field and bam, like right in the shoulder. Just was not paying attention and who yeah. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty incredible. Insane. Yeah. That's so, great. Like, another, another one I would be terrified of, like outside of the javelin, would be shot put. Yeah, I mean, it, like if that landed on yeah. you, like, I, <laughs> game I, over. I could see the shot put like ending up in the stands if like you're not careful, or yeah. hammer throw. Yeah, or Hasn't hammer throw. Hasn't there been yeah. incidences of that happening before? Like somebody was doing it and they let go at the wrong time and ended up like. like oh, they got a net. Yeah. I, no, so but like, I, I, they got barriers to keep that from happening. Yeah, okay, but okay. if you're in the field. Hey, you're on your own dime. Yeah, like, that was like the one thing that always blew my mind was like shot put. Like seeing that, I was like, man. Is someone no doing thank dishes you. in the background? <laughs> Sorry? Is someone, is someone doing dishes? Oh no, uh, we hand make our dog's food. Okay. My sister's doing that right now. So. All right. We got a little bit of dog food production on the go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> back to the back to the Olympics. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. Um, like oh, yeah, I said, I, I, I don't watch a, a, a ton of it, but uh, yeah. Well, Marlon and I have had it, like playing in the background. I, I really enjoy back, here, nonstop. Here's what I enjoy watching: ping pong. Ping pong's crazy. Oh my god! Yeah. Yes. Like when they get into a good rally and they're like ten feet back from the table. Yeah, especially <laughs> the Chinese. They it's take insane. that shit seriously. Oh yeah, for and sure. And I'm the first one to swear this episode. So, yeah, there it is. Bing. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ping pong. Yeah. Yeah. I understand why that is an Olympic event. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Have, you, have you ever played ping pong? Not well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like I I yeah think... most people can say that. <laughs> not at yeah, the, like, not at the <laughs> level that these people are playing it. Like, I've never hard. looked yeah. at ping pong seriously until I watched, like, the first, like, Olympic ping pong, like, match. And I was just like, oh, like, that's how you play ping pong. I'm like, meanwhile, like, I'm just like, oh, I missed it. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy to see, like, what somebody can do with that. Yeah. I like how they do like the ball reveal though before they they before they start. <laughs> yeah, they the, just, the, the, pre- the presentation. The, yeah, they just kind of hold out their yes, hand. So, hello. It's like, oh, it's a ping pong ball. Like, how oh. surprising! <laughs> and then it's covered in razor blades and just destroys you. Oh, that would be something like that. Yeah, I, I think that's I saw po- that in the movie. <laughs> Post apocalyptic ping pong. Yeah, See, ping like pong I was going more innocent. I was like, what if somebody accidentally switched, or not accidentally, but like switched up with for like an egg or something? So when you hit it, it was like, <laughs> I wasn't thinking razor blades. Oh no! If, if you cheat during ping pong, yeah, that's your that's ass. That's a big deal. Yeah, you will disappear. You do not do that. No. We Side take ping pong seriously in this house. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You don't mess with ping pong. But like, I remember reading something. I'm pretty sure it was like a meme on Facebook or something 
about how like we should just throw in like average people. Oh yeah, like, just just to see how they yeah, just to compare like how it would yeah. uh, you know just and, have like, honestly have some yeah, bloke like, from who, at the bar who says he could run faster than like the the decathlon the runners Bolt or something. Yeah, yeah, I would love to see that actually. I think that would be. Yeah. I think it, I don't know. I think it would like solidify how insanely powerful these athletes are. Yeah. And, like, how much time they actually spend training and stuff. Like, Th- throwing some guy who thinks so cool. he's tough into, like, a boxing ring or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I'd be down for that. Yeah. Speaking of which. Okay. Let's get to our first, our, uh, first event. Oh, okay. 400 meters. Yep. Men's hurdles. Yeah. Was nuts. Hurdles are, yeah. are crazy anyway. Yeah. Yeah, just to begin with. Yeah. Like, jumping over steeples. Yeah. While trying to outrun everyone else. Yeah. It's pretty. Nuts. I got I've never done it, but I got to imagine it's pretty damn we difficult. The, yeah. I remember in like high school and stuff, like when it was like track and field. It's like we were allowed to try like a bunch of different stuff and see how we did. I remember trying hurdles and like I got over the first one and I was like, I'm done. I'm like, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I do not have the legs for this. I, I would be but, running around <laughs> to the side. Yeah, is that an option? Yeah. Or just, just running, avoiding running the through the hurdles. <laughs> just, just bulldozing through. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'll take the point loss. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll take the penalty. But yeah, no, it's uh, like, yeah, you made it first, but you didn't do any of the hurdles, so you're actually last. <laughs> Carson Valholm. Yeah. If you haven't seen that race, look that up. Dude's like slapping himself in the face, slapping his legs. Like, he, he was himself he was, hyped up. He was jacked. Yeah. Getting all ready. Ready to go. And it paid off. Yeah. World record, Olympic record, personal record. <laughs> Men sitting records. I mean, I'm, I'm, pretty, the... I'm pretty sure everybody saw, like, the, like, guy ah, was yeah. ripping, like, his shirt open. Uh, is he in the Hulk Hogan? Oh, yeah. And, yeah. well, and, yeah, if All anyone right. deserves to do that move. It was him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hands down. Yeah. This dude crushed it. It's crazy. crazy. Yeah. It's always yeah. cool to see, like, the celebration afterwards, I think. Because it's, like, the amount of time and effort it takes to, like, train yourself for, Okay, like, what the hell's going on in the background? <laughs> what? All that noise. It's a lot, lot, are, of, lot are of you, forking around. I are think. you doing renovations right now? Everybody's just up and up now. We've uh, everybody's up and ready and having breakfast and all that fun stuff. So okay. Hi everybody. Yeah, keep it down. <laughs> We're trying to record a show. <laughs> but uh, but seriously though, like I think it's cool seeing the celebrations. I think that's my favorite part. Uh, yeah. yeah. Did you see uh, uh, Tamira? Um, Mensa stock, I know. It's the most. Oh. Is that the swimmer? No, she was a wrestler. Uh, second American women's wrestler to take it home yeah. to uh, America. Okay. But her her, uh, I guess winning speech, acceptance speech. Yeah. It's just the most like heartwarming, adorable thing nice. you've ever seen. Especially because especially America. Yeah. They got a lot of people and it's like kind of. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm, oh, I'm the best. Be. Yeah. Yeah. But no, this chick, yeah, uh, Tamira Mensa Stock. If you can find it, uh, it's it's really hard to find the whole clips. Yeah, but the whole clip. But uh, it's just it's just the most heartwarming, wholesome, endearing thing you've yeah. ever seen. Like she, she, she's she, stoked. She appreciates it. Yeah, like she's she's all wrapped up in her American flag, and she's all stoked. Like, oh, like, oh, my husband and my dog are watching from home, and yeah, I'm stoked to what like be here for America and. I'll, I'll promise I'll try to not cry later. Oh. It's it's just amazing. Nice. So, yeah. yeah. So, big shout-outs. Big shout-outs yeah. to uh, Tamira Mensah-Stock. Yeah. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, the, I hope uh, so, too. <laughs> um, for Canada, uh, we had, like, one swimmer. That yeah, we just, did. Like, won half our medals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Penny, right? Uh, yeah, Olnick or something like that. I, I something like that, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah I, not in my notes. And she's yeah. super young, too. I think she's only 17, six, I think. Yeah. 16, 17, something like that. Yeah, so and she's she, like the most decorated Canadian Olympian in ever, history. Ever, yeah. So she's got a... That's she's nuts. One to watch for the next few Olympics, that's for sure. Yeah, so oh, that, absolutely. Our very own she's Michael really, Phelps. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we, she's got a bright future for sure. Oh, yeah. She, yeah, she crushed it. Yeah. Like insanely crushed it. Yeah, like yeah. If, if she hadn't competed, we would have like half yeah. the <laughs> medals that yeah. we got. And we didn't get that many. <laughs> I mean, we do have a lot of water, so maybe we don't have an excuse to not crush it all the time. True, true. Maybe. 
Maybe. I don't know. Depends. Yeah. I mean, I like swimming. Yeah. Ocean swimming. Not competitively. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. That was, uh, that was good. But, uh, yeah. The women's soccer team. Hell yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. As I mentioned, I did early. not expect that at all. I thought I thought America would would take us out. Yeah, but after we defeated them, and then Sweden. I thought not for sure. Yeah, we're not gonna. Yeah, Can, there's no way Canada's gonna take Sweden. It, and the, I was wrong. The the, the uh, kickoffs at the end, like Canada, like missed three in a row, and then we still yeah. like the very final final kick was the winning kick. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, but I've I've never yeah. seen so many Americans. Be like, oh, your your women's soccer team lost. Yeah, good. <laughs> like they, yeah, they were pissed. They're like, screw this. No, we don't care about. It. No, we want them to lose, <laughs> and we're happy they did. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I get it. Okay. Yeah. If you if you're going to the Olympic stage, a global, stage, they they did some politicking, didn't they? they yeah, tons. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why. That's yeah, why it I was think. all about identity politics, and yeah. it was it. It wasn't a good look. No. Like, and if you got beef with your own country, sure, that's yeah. fine. Everyone does, probably, mostly. Well, they still got bronze. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> okay. Tell us how you really feel. Yeah, uh, I was about to say. Yeah. Well, would you, if if there was a team of any sort, I mean, oh, we're going to represent Canada, and all they did was shit on Canada? Wouldn't yeah. You, wouldn't you kind of be like, what the hell? True. True. And that's what Americans had to go through. And they got their wishes. And I don't blame them. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to go on a global stage and say, hey, I'm here to represent my country, but my country blows. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of get it. Uh, here's the question. If, Is this getting political? If you... Yeah. If, gun to your head, if you had to compete in an Olympic sport, Ooh. what one would you compete in? Are, are we talking summer and winter, or just like summer? Let's say summer. Okay, basketball. Basketball. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that'd probably be the easiest that they, they could. Just, oh, not for me, for for Rachel, for yeah. sure, hundred percent. They could. Well, for me, yeah. they, they could just bench me. <laughs> so that. that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, do you have to see floor time? I, I think. Like, yeah, yeah, I think for this, you would have to see floor time. Okay, yeah, definitely I, basketball. Then that's like the only yeah. Olympic sport I think I have any like experience it <laughs> i'd go swimming go swimming yeah yeah like i had okay, Mal- michael do? phelps that into the ground like go try not to okay swear. so you you do like butterfly or something not Ooh, like that's diving? a tough one butterfly's hard yeah but yeah i can well, watch I, some butterfly what about you mike what would you do i, I do the race walk the the weird wiggle thing yeah oh, like that that is- hold on i'm gonna do it on camera right yeah here. okay go for it but this uh, is not working no I tried. <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll film it later. And then, but and it's crazy because, in. like, some of them go faster than runners. Which is nuts. Yeah. I think some of them like cheat, you though. you see the move and you're like, <laughs> How do you no cheat? Are they, are they part duck? Well, is Mar- that how they cheat? Marlon and I were watching, was it on Friday, actually? Yeah. And uh, there's a weird line. There's a gray area. Yeah, it's an almost where, run. Yeah, it yeah. becomes like, are you walking or are you jogging? Because yeah. you're not supposed to be jogging. No, you're not supposed to jog. But I think Wogging? some of them get into the jogging yeah. uh, category. Or speed? I don't know. Is that? Yeah. It's a tough one. Yeah. No, for that, I, I could just, like, walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the Olympic <laughs> event of going to the store. <laughs> going to the store. That, that's my speed. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> Take yeah. A hike. That's weird, by the way. <laughs> and it probably shouldn't be in the Olympics. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Come on, everyone can walk. It, it, yeah, but it's well, it's it's not really walking though. What they do, it's, yeah, like it's, well, it's a waddle. Like, they walk and wiggle. Yeah, that's not yeah, really. Yeah, you try walking and wiggling. Howard like Howard the duck meters. would be a fantastic competitor. It's a far cry from like the hundred meter sprint or hammer throw or shot put or yeah. javelin. I see. Like I feel like that's the kind of thing that people would say until they try it. Like I feel like it's. Oh no, I have tried it. Look. I honestly you have, have tried, tried. Oh you yeah, tried the race walk. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. No, I, I call bullshit. I'll do it right now. <laughs> if we okay, can bring these cameras outside, which actually we can. <laughs> we can't bring you outside, which might be a failure. Okay. You know what? That's fine. Just like, I'll film it film and it send it and to I'll you. Watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Because, like, I need to see it. Because I, I totally call him bullshit on you right now. No? All right. All right. I will call 
and my God, please stop with the dishes. <laughs> Coming to you live. We're filming a show here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm good. It's, it's ambience. Yeah, it's <laughs> the fucking balloons noise. in the background. <laughs> hey, the, those are, we established those are grapes. <laughs> Is that what we decided on? Did we decide on grapes? No, I don't think we decided on anything. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to edit a lot of this out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but most of it's staying in. Yep. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, Side well. note, um... Not talking about Olympics, but did you hear uh, what Quentin Tarantino wants to do with um, your boy, Mike? What a weird pivot. <laughs> no, but like, let me let me finish because okay. it just popped in my head and like, it's it's important. Okay. It involves Sylvester Stallone and all that. Uh, Quentin Tarantino was saying how he wants to do a Rambo remake okay. with uh, Adam Driver, and how he's been like trying to get to Sylvester Stallone and be like, hey, let me do this. Uh, well, he was a marine. John he was a marine. Ah. So, Adam maybe? Driver was. Yeah, you didn't know that. What? No, I had no idea. Yeah, he's uh, ex-military. Well, damn. He, here's one I for you. Him, Thank Drew, you for your service. Yeah, Drew Carey was was a marine. Drew Carey. Yeah, that's why he's got those big, thick uh, Coke bottle glasses. Those are the standard issue. Uh. <laughs> Didn't know that, did you? Wait till you find out about Elvis. Yeah, (laughs) wait. That man made movies, too. Yeah. Blue Hawaii. Yeah. (laughs) That was actually talking about Elvis? I knew Elvis, but like. Yeah, I didn't know Adam Driver, but yeah, I heard that. I was like, Quentin Tarantino doing a Rambo movie. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know know if Driver's got the physicality. Like, like even if he was. I don't know about that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like I said, he was he was military, so maybe. Like, yeah, he, he like could I definitely kick my ass, but yeah. that doesn't mean he, he gets to be a SEAL. Like, I I feel more like it's like a John Cena type thing. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Is, is this segue time? <laughs> sure. Segway. Segway. <laughs> that was a weird one. Yeah, that was, that was a very that strange segue. Weird. Yeah. The Civilian Pavilion. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nathan Fillion uh, from Edmonton. Uh, he, Best known Alberta as Canada. yeah, best playing as, known as uh, Malcolm from uh, Firefly. Yep, um, it's been on a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Oh, a ton. But uh, apparently, uh, there was a radio station in Edmonton. Like they're starting this new park, and uh, so this radio sta- station just suggested that they call this new park the Nathan Fillion Civilian Pavilion. I said it without screwing up. I'm a little first bit, take. A little nice. bit surprised. What's up? Right out of the surprise. So, yeah, there was this big move online, and, uh, like, when they were doing the promotions for Suicide Squad, uh, like, he got, like, Margot Robbie and John Cena to, like, talk about it during the advertising. So, uh, oh, Rachel's a bit, oh, no, she's she's going. But uh, they didn't get the park renamed, but the uh, city of Edmonton did decide to change the name of their city hall to the Nathan Fillion Civilian Pavilion for the weekend. Keep it. Yeah. Keep it exactly as it is. Keep it. Do just just, like, just play along. Even yeah. give us give us a year. It's one of those things. But do you really want the internet naming things? Because that's how. Yes, you, yes, I do. That's how you end up with Bodie McBoatface. Yeah, yeah. The Mountain Dew yeah, one. I feel like it's a solid. Yeah. I think 4chan oh, should name everything from now on. <laughs> no, that would be no. a terribly it's great idea. Great. No, yeah, that would be fantastic. You're gonna get nothing but good stuff. Yeah. See, I kept myself from swearing. Ah! <laughs> Debatable. Yeah. Uh, speaking of weird names, the uh, I think it's Scotland or it might be it might be England, but uh, it's either England or Scotland. They they have this app that tracks where their snowplows are, and all <laughs> of their snowplows have like a unique name, and it's all like snow pl- snowplow puns. <laughs> I love that. So, like, yeah, I nobody go here. TikTok. Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just spitballing. <laughs> it's like snow way. It's happening. Stuff like that. Nice. Snow waves up. I love that. Yeah. Good for them. <laughs> yeah, that's a... All right. Do you want to switch gears? Yeah, we can switch gears. Uh, we've seen it. We've seen some documentaries. Yeah. Uh, myself and Chris, anyway. Yeah. Uh, you saw one about Niagara Falls. The Cod Wars. And and people going over Niagara Falls. I think I brought up the Cod Wars in the last episode. Uh, th- anyway, I'll sure. stick to the Niagara Falls. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a documentary on the crazy sons of bitches who, male and female, yeah. 
Sons of Bitches is gender neutral. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you gotta be careful nowadays because this is going on YouTube. <laughs> but, uh, Anyways. Yeah. Uh, people who willingly threw themselves over the cliffs of Niagara Falls. Yep. That's insane. Yeah, Mary, um, oh crap, I should have wrote this down. Kind of, kind of screwed myself. But yeah, a woman, she, uh, she was like, all right, she was a school teacher. Yep. Mary something. It's an easy Google search. She had these, like, scientists build a barrel. They had, like, the silver or steel. Yeah. Uh, like, I guess rings around it. I don't. I don't know much about barrel you're, building. You're, you're so not a professional cooper. Yeah. So my yeah my, my vernacular might be a little off. But yeah. So to test it, they uh, threw a cat in one of these barrels. Yep. And launched it over the side, and the cat survived with just basically a little bit of a little, little bump on the head. Yeah. Well, maybe a little worse than that. It was more of a scuff. And she's like, "All right, all checks out." So she did the same, and she made it. Yeah. Insane. And then there was another guy uh, who was kind of famous. He kind of pissed people off because he built like a a launching platform. Yeah, like a ladder. Yeah, and kind of cheated the system. He didn't go over the falls. He yeah, he just kind of dove into the bottom. Okay, like, he kind of circumvented the falls. So I don't, I don't know if that counts. Yeah, still probably something that I I wouldn't do personally. No, I'd try it. I'm good. I don't know. I like water. Uh, I know enough about I like physics. Water that much. <laughs> <laughs> if 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 I chose if I had a choice in, in an environment to die in, is <laughs> Niagara Falls? Oh, uh, water. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a burial at sea. Let this be okay. I I'm making this official. I want to be buried at sea. Okay. I don't know how legal that is, but if it's possible, we just gotta die on a ship. Yeah, damn it. That might be tough. Yeah. <laughs> That's the end of my story. That's, <laughs> That's all I got. That's the end. Uh, yeah, I watched uh, Val Kilmer. Uh, oh, yeah. Has released a documentary on uh, Amazon Prime because he's kind of fell off the radar for a while. Uh, he had uh, lung cancer. Uh, yeah, but he's, he's had a crazy life. He has had a crazy life. And I haven't life. seen the documentary. Yeah. He's, uh, he comes off as, he seems like an eccentric type guy. He's had, like, some tough times. Uh, his, yeah. uh, like, he used to make, when he was a kid, like, he used to make films with his brother. And uh, his brother was uh, epileptic and uh, actually had a Caesar in a pool. And oh. uh, passed away from that. Oh, shit. So that seemed to have hit him, like, pretty hard. You can, you can tell th- during the documentary that yeah. that kind of affected his life in a big way. There, there's some navel-gazing, though. Like, Val's not, like, he was known as kind of a difficult actor. To work yeah, with. I've heard that. Yeah. He was a bit of a, bit of a like, diva. He, he was one of those guys that, uh, he went to Juilliard and stuff like that. So, uh, I think. Because he. Comes from like a pretty like yeah he, his father a, a was pedigree yeah his father was like a, a land developer so uh, you know I it seems like they had money uh, growing up and stuff and like I said he went to Juilliard and uh, I, I think you know he kind of had a bit of an ego uh, battle that's what I've heard yeah he was sick in the doors though yeah as Jim Morrison I, I still haven't seen that I, what I you've been meaning to see it but uh, oh dude yeah great movie my my favorite movie with him is Top Secret. I mean, goose, <laughs> goose, goose. You can't, you can't, you can't mess with goose. That's Top Gun, not Top Secret. Oh crap! Uh, <laughs> I'm leaving that in. I will leave my mistakes in. I, and I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, sandbagging you this time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Marilyn Manson. He wasn't in Black Sabbath. <laughs> oh god. No, Top Secret was like a parody spy film where he plays like an Elvis type dude. Oh shit. <laughs> Bing. Yeah, that's uh, the fourth time. We really need to start a swear jar. <laughs> yeah. Because usually it's Rachel. Yeah. It is. It usually is me. So this is funny. I'm just having an off day, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I get excited about Val Kilmer's um, lesser known roles. Yeah. Apparently. Well, they uh, top secret. They filmed the entire scene backwards. Uh, nice. Yeah. And then, like, did they? I I can't remember. How, how they do. I don't know why I expect someone to know what this means. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. All I know is the guy who played, like, Moff Tarkin was in it uh, from Star Wars, like the uh, old guy. 
the fire the Death Star type guy. I'm I'm pro oh, okay, I'm pro okay. Val Kilmer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's uh, Tombstone. Tomb- Hell yeah, Tombstone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm throwing the trailer in. Strike or not, I don't care. It's yeah. going in. Three, two, one. Bam. Boom. In Tombstone, crime ruled the streets. Violence stalked the innocent. And every stranger was your enemy until Wyatt Earp and his brothers arrived. And now, all hell is about to break loose. Kurt Russell. Val Kilmer, Bill Paxton, Jason Priestley, Sam Elliott, Dana Delaney, Michael Bean, Powers Booth, Charlton Heston. You gonna do something or just stand there and bleed? Justice is coming to Tombstone. And we're back. Yeah. Uh, as Doc Holliday? Yeah. You kidding me? Let's have a spelling bee. Well, during that, uh, during the documentary, uh, you kind of get the sense that that was probably his favorite thing to work on was uh, Tombstone. It looked like a lot of fun. Yeah. Because he gets to play like a just emaciated alcoholic. Yeah. And smartass who just says like the he has the best lines in that movie. Yeah. It's a gr- great movie overall. Yeah. Tombstone. If you haven't yeah. seen that, Kurt Russell. Val Kilmer, of course. He he touches on Top Gun a little bit. Um, he kind of he mentions that it was a film that he did because he was under contract with the studio. He didn't really for Top Gun. Yeah, really. Like like it wasn't kind of a choice film for him. But he had to play Goose. He didn't play Goose. He played Iceman. Iceman. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen Top Gun in like twenty years. So. Wow. Yeah, actually, thir- <laughs> thirty years. So give me <laughs> cut me some slack. It's been a while. Why do we keep on talking about jet films? <laughs> because of him. <laughs> Listen, this is this is wasn't the segue I was looking for. Segway jet porn. <laughs> Here we go. Still one of the best movie soundtracks ever, though. It uh, is pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but although although singles, I'll throw up singles. I'll yeah. put singles against Top Gun. They're very different, but yeah. I don't know. I'm going singles. I like me some Danger Zone though. I mean, Danger Zone, yeah. And, and that's, that's my, classic. Mighty Wings, which Street Fighter 2 stole for uh, Ken's theme or Giles. I was theme. actually playing Street Fighter 2 last night. Yeah. That did, totally did, unrelated did, to did, what did, we're talking did. about. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, like I said, there's like a lot of kind of navel-gazing uh, in the documentary. Uh, but I mean, like, yeah, like I, I mentioned, he went through some tough times. The thing with his brother and then later in his father's life uh his father wanted to do like this big real estate type deal so his so val like gave him power of attorneys like his dad signed off his name on like a bunch of like shadow companies or stealth companies or something like that so uh it failed and basically val had to sign away like all of his money uh damn yeah so like he basically say, said, you know, I lost all my money. So it was just kind of back to work. That's all I could do. Either that or sue his own father. Because he got throat cancer, didn't he? Uh, lung cancer. Lung cancer. Yeah, he has uh, the thing in his neck. Like, he does speak a little bit in the documentary, but he's got that thing where he has to push in on it and yeah, uh, talk. Yeah. Majority of it, though, he gets his son to kind of narrate oh, okay. for him. So Sweet. Because uh, yeah. I, I was... Especially as a kid, I was a big Val Kilmer fan. Yeah, Val. Like, he was, he was Batman. He was Batman. Yeah. Know, he he didn't know, enjoy playing Batman either. Yeah, I know people dunk on him for that too. And yeah. But you know what? I, I, I didn't mind it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Val Kilmer. What else were you doing? He was in the... Oh, what was that sign movie? He was in Willow. Yeah. Yeah. With... Uh, what's his nuts? Uh, Warwick Davis. Warwick Davis. Yeah. That's where he met his wife, actually. Uh, There's a peck... Oh, yeah. There's a peck <laughs> pointing an acorn at me. <laughs> Uh, so if you haven't seen Willow, 
check that out. Yeah, that's a great that movie. That movie actually scarred me. Wasn't that 100%. a Spielberg or who did that? Uh, Lucas. Lucas, yeah, yeah, that was He's a Lucas. Lu- yeah, yeah. Wait, that movie scared the shit out of me as a kid. What? Why? Dead serious. What? What scared? What scared you? Was it? Was, was it? Was it Val Kilmer? No. Not was it Val the? Kilmer. Wasn't there like there's a the, point where they turned? There's in... like a, yeah, it was the insane thing where it's like the evil wish. They're going to battle her, and then she like. Turned them all into pigs, pigs and they started transforming yeah. oh, on yeah, camera. Yeah. I scared I, the I, shit I, out of me. Yeah, I think I was like six when I saw that part. That and that sticks to my mind. Like I saw it recently. It's just yeah. like, yeah, yeah. I'll like wa- I watched it, watch but like, yeah, I avoided that movie for a long time after seeing it for the first time. Yeah, the I was pigs like, oh still had like, like the human clothes on. Yeah, kind of crawling out of them. <laughs> that movie <laughs> Willow is amazing. Yep. No, it's. it's I'm gonna throw a clip of Willow. In here right now, and we'll probably get in trouble for it. <laughs> and I take full responsibility. Well, George Lucas and Ron Howard bring the epic adventure to new heights. We need your help. For the first time ever on Blu ray. <laughs> fully restored in stunning high definition. With new bonus feature. And we're back. <laughs> it's a great movie, but like, yeah, that pig scene scared the shit out of me as a kid. 100%. Yep. It was kind of freaky. It was. But, like, it's still watching an it now, movie. it's like, it's like, it's it's pretty incredible how they, like, planned that out. Like, the, the way that they did it, it's like, and it made it still look realistic. Like, oh, yeah, there was some pre production for sure. Like, yeah. they, 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 they did really well. But yeah, like, as a kid, that, that scene scared me terribly. Yeah, oh, Willow is an amazing movie. It was a pre. It was a pre Hobbit Hobbit movie, basically, because they yeah. filmed it in New Zealand. Yeah. Oh damn! Did they? Yep. Yeah, they did. Cool. Yep. New Zealand is popping for like fantasy. I want to get to New Zealand. I know we are getting way off topic, <laughs> as always. What? Well, well, let's, let's let's talk well, about. There are no topics. Let's talk about how much we want to go to New Zealand. Yeah. I yes. want to yes, try 100%. their cuisine. I want to see their environment. Yeah, I, 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 I want to see New Zealand from. Top to bottom. Yeah, for sure. 100%. It'd be beautiful. Yeah. So, and, and it's not even a Lord of the Rings thing. I don't even, I didn't really like those movies, to be honest. Yeah. I would still love I to go see, see the, the country. Hobbits, though. Yeah. Super yeah. sick. But, like, side note, though, like, bring, I'm going to circle it back to the Olympics. The really cool thing about New Zealand, when you beco- like become, uh, like, Olympians and, like, athletes representing the country, you actually get taught the haka, which is, like, a war dance. Yep. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but, my God, is that oh, thing yeah. cool to watch. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, the, the weightlifter didn't do so well. For the Haga? No, the the trans weightlifter that everyone was like. Freak, oh, they were. Oh, I was, yeah, I was they were from New Zealand. New Zealand. Right? I think it was. I think she was from New Zealand. Mm. Laurel, ah, I can't. I yeah. can't remember the name right now. But yeah, because remember, like they were, everyone was getting all like. Yeah, I'm, I've already sworn this episode. Why well, stop now? <laughs> Everyone's getting all fucking pissed off about like, oh, there's a guy weightlifting in the men's or sorry, women's uh, weightlifting category. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm stopping because all I can hear is Rachel's mother in the background. <laughs> we are <a> professional. <laughs> Fuck. Is it? Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, trans woman. Trans. Great. Trans. Oh, How did we get from Val Kilmer to here? I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> um, yeah, I'd, I'd still kind of recommend the the documentary though. Um, yeah, yeah. What's it on? Oh, uh, they bring up um, Doctor Monroe. Ooh, yeah. They address that, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think he's I basically think. admitted to like that he was an a hole <laughs> during the filming of that. Well, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. But there's like a clip of him like Marlon Brando on a hammock and he's pushing Marlon Brando on this hammock. <laughs> that if you ever, ever look up the, the history of the Island of Dr. Moreau movie, it's crazy. Yep. Yeah. I wouldn't rec- I wouldn't recommend the movie. <laughs> no, no. The history behind the movie though. Yeah, way more w- way more interesting. They need to make a movie about the shooting. Like like I think they did. Did they? It, I could be wrong. Because they need, like, sure they they need like a Plan Nine from outer space type thing. Ooh. Yeah, actually, like an Ed Wood, basically. Plan Nine from outer space was fantastic. <laughs> and I'm not a big, I'm not a big uh, Tim Burton fan, but he, him and Johnny Depp did a crazy good job on uh, 
Ed Wood. Ed Wood, yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, that was an interesting watch, for sure. Um, trying to think if I've seen anything else. I've, I've been watching, a, like, there's this British series where, like, people live on, like, different era farms. Like, they take, like, three people. Like, they're all kind of historians, so... Uh, like they walk you through kind of the history of everything but they live on like an edwardian farm for a year or victorian farm for a year like world war ii farm for a year it's kind of interesting um like farmville the movie the series <laughs> the series <laughs> farmville oh my god it was on facebook was it? i think so yeah i never played yeah, it, it so i'm not sure oh man <sighs> speaking of farmville ever see those like weird farm like farm game commercials online yeah. Yeah. No. It's really weird. Yeah. There's one kind of ca- called like Emma's Farm, and like they made like a bunch of like short clips, and it's like a whole soap opera thing about like her losing oh. a baby and stuff. Yeah, it's he's messed what? up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. It's really weird. Or like <laughs> she's pregnant. She fa- her yeah, she's cheating on her or something. Yeah, she like, fakes a pregnancy weird. and like her and her like her ex husband and her boyfriend get together once. <laughs> It's, it's, it has it's not, nothing it's, it's to do with the game. Thing. It has nothing no. to do with the game. That's weird as hell. Yeah. I think it's called like Amish Farm know. or something like that. It's yeah, I had... It's wild. <laughs> I'm just going to stare straight into the camera <laughs> and just... No. Just just, just pause, because I have no idea what the hell you guys are talking about. Yeah. Oh, man. Like a Rachel doing some, some she, product some, placement. Some, some, yeah. I'll... I have a little bit, but... So for a company that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really see it. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. How are we doing for time? Uh, pretty good. It's, this anyone is have probably... anything else to bring up? Oh, oh, uh, I got a bunch of stuff. Okay. No context news. Okay. Barking hurts dogs' throats. Oh. What? Yeah, it get, it, if they bark too much, they can get laryngitis. I could see that. Dogs do not like barking. But they just do it because it's in their system, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So it's hurtful. It's harmful. That's your kind of... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it kind of sucks, right? Yeah. But I mean, yeah. if, you, if you're if you screaming at someone all day, every day, yeah, eventually... Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's one thing. Okay. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Why the hell doesn't medicine taste good? You think um, actually, there's probably an actual like reason behind it, but I, th- I think it's because like this is just like a, a theory, but like because oh, hold of on. certain based like, on what flavoring and stuff. Sorry, it's like something like I talked to my mom about. We were kind of talking about it because like birth control, for example, tastes disgusting, and it's like you think they'd make it taste better, and um, it was like well, actually, like the flavoring might mess with like the stuff in it that's like actually stopping certain things so that might be the reasoning behind it that if you put mm-hmm. the flavoring in it it could mess with like the medicinal components that seems like a write off yeah if, if you were a, if you were a chemist worth your salt that might be a chemistry joke <laughs> I'm gonna stand behind that one but uh yeah you can make it taste good well I mean they have like the children's medicines that are like yeah like Flintstones good. Flintstones oh my god yeah those are like candy <laughs> I'd eat those all day. <laughs> OD on Flintstones vitamins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, but like like you said, birth control or you Whatever. name it. Yeah. Just make it taste not gross. It'd be nice. I'm, I, again, but... again, I'm not a chemist. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, the, there might be a... the, com- the, the complications or the, the uh, intri- intricacies. Yeah. That is not a word. <laughs> and uh, your body thinks apple juice is food. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. Like, if you're thirsty, apple juice is not where you want to go because oh. it treats it like food. So, you, so your stomach is like, yo, this is like apple? Yeah, because, like, I know weird. it's weird to think of, but your, your stomach does, like, chew. Yep. Yep. That's digestion. Yeah. That's a whole, yeah. So, yeah, when you throw some apple juice in there, your your stomach starts chewing it. Okay. That's neat. I was on the internet for a long time last night, so. <laughs> it seems like it when you weren't playing Street Fighter 2. Such a good game. It is. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, let me make sure I got all my my Olympic topics done. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that in. Yeah, they got the pavilion. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out of shit to talk about. <laughs> Rachel, you did gotta. You say to, did you say to stalk or to talk? 
talk. I, I'm okay, not cool. stalking just about anything. Sure. Yeah, stalking about. <laughs> uh, you never know. I was just making sure. Okay. Look behind you. Those fucking balloons. <laughs> it's not balloons. We went over this. <laughs> at least they look like balloons. At, at least the dishes are done now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And they're on the no, wall. I found out. I found. I found out what it was. Um, my dog. She's in a playpen right now, and it's a metal playpen. Okay. So every time she jumps up, it moves. Okay. <laughs> so that's what that sound was, because she's just laying down now. But like she was trying to get out, so she was trying to climb it and stuff. And yeah, that's what the sound was. It wasn't dishes. <laughs> okay. Good she's trying to do a jailbreak. Yeah, well, I think that brings uh, us to the end of this one. Yeah, how how we do for time? Uh, I know this is not entertaining to anyone right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just curious. It's like 45 minutes. Hey, sweet right there. Yeah, all right. That's good. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do what you got to do. Gonna point the uh, the bit shoot yeah. subscribe clicks over here. If you have a suggestion for a topic, yeah. <laughs> please let us know. Please let us know. Yeah. <laughs> because you you could end up with more episodes like this. Yeah. <laughs> We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> very but subscribe yeah because it, it's free and it's worth it and hopefully we've earned it yeah for sure yeah. Damn that right. I feel like we're entertaining yeah we did yeah yeah. you were a poet and didn't <laughs> know it eh <laughs> there you go well for Media Minute I'm Michael Forward I'm Chris Raskowski coming at you and doing I got ever yeah. since we talked about finger guns Tobey Maguire in <laughs> Spider-Man 3 I can't stop doing this and I hate myself for it <laughs> All right. Oh, I, uh, oh, I'm getting in both cameras. I hate myself today. All right, I've taken enough time. Okay, Rachel. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Rachel Edge. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>